Welcome to the Intern Whisperer Live, the show all about internships and how to excel and do well. Reminder, listeners, you can call us live on on the air. The number phone number is 407-582-2906. You can also chat with us online through Intern Pursuits Facebook live chat. Mel, microphone. Coming up in this episode of the Intern Whisperer Live, end of the semester, looking for internships, sign up with Intern Pursuit or contact Isabella at isabella at internpursuit.tech. We also have concert ticket contests coming up, as well as our guest, Samantha Siegel, previous intern with Starter Studio. All right, so first, before I go into the social plugs, Mel, you stayed so calm the whole time, and that had to be like, crazy good, so I give you really a lot of props. You did excellent there um, because I know I was a little bit uh, stressed here, so good job for you. You are meant for broadcasting. I think that's your biggest <laughs> test right there. So how do people find us? Intern Pursuit. We can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find Intern Pursuit Game, the game, on Facebook and Twitter, and you can listen to us live on mixlr.com forward slash Valencia College Radio and be sure to follow the Intern Whisperer. You can watch Facebook Live, Intern Pursuit, search for that, and then like and follow, and you'll get all types of announcements that'll pop up on your phone when we're getting ready to come on the air. And you can call us live on the air. The phone number is 407-582-2906. And you can chat with us online through Intern Pursuit's live Facebook chat. So, yep, you'll have to drag it over there so we can see when people are going to do that. So, you know what, Mel, while you're doing that, I'm going to read the patron announcement, okay? So, Pixel Crawler is a suite of tools that audits, monitors, and historically tracks the pixels implemented on your website. Their, their website is pixelcrawler.com. Thank you, Pixel Crawler, for being a patron of the Intern Whisperer. Let me transition into another set of music. All right, so Intern Pursuit News. Students, if you want to join our startup team and be an Intern Pursuit student influencer or brand ambassador, go to internpursuit.tech forward slash careers to check out the job descriptions and apply to be a part of our superhero team. We're also inviting employers of all types and sizes to be a part of our early adopter beta program. Early adopter employers are accepted to participate. Contact me, Isabella, at internpursuit.tech for more information. We have some concert tickets to give away. We have um, two tickets, and they are to the JID band. Is that a band? It is a artist. Uh, it is an artist. So it's like, whatever, Madonna. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So to win the tickets, you have to post a comment on our Facebook or Instagram page and tell us something you liked about our show tonight and use tonight's contest code. Listen carefully. Hashtag J period I period D period to make sure that you can win those tickets. It's June 18th um, at the Beecham. The doors open at 7 p.m. And if you want to get those tickets, you can get them for free, but you've got to give us a comment. We want to see some feedback from you guys. Mel? All right. Well, I'd like to welcome Samantha to the Intern Whisperer. Um, I'm going to start off with some questions about, first off, where is it that you went to college? I actually went to University of Central Florida. I graduated in May 2nd of this last year. Oh, my gosh. It was just like a week ago, guys. <laughs> well, no, 13, two weeks ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. It was really exciting. Yeah. It was a big day. <laughs> where did you go, and where was the ceremony? It was at the CFE, which is now Edition Arena. Okay, some of our listeners may not know what that is. What okay. does CFE mean? So uh, CFE was actually the credit union that we used to use. However, we transferred over um, to a – they actually, like, upgraded their credit union um, to Edition Arena. So how many seats does it hold? You're in event management. Oh, my You gosh. might know this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to put you on the spot. A lot. Thousands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thousands of people. Because I, I don't know how many people are graduating from Valencia, uh, not Valencia, from UCF. But I'm I'm expecting that it's probably, I don't know, five, ten thousand 10,000 that walk 
Yeah. And that means there's got to be at least twice the amount of people <laughs> in that arena, so at least 20, 30,000. Well, on top of that, that's also where they do their concerts and their yeah. basketball games. So Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to look that up and make sure we know that. That's just a fun fact here. <laughs> okay, so I'm not trying to uh, take it away, but then when we heard, when I heard her say, you know, May 2nd, I went, oh, my gosh, that was just two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations. Thank you. Mm. Um, I'd also like to ask you, where was it that you did your internship? I did my internship mainly through Starter Studios, but I also helped with Pivot. <laughs> yeah. She was working with myself and then also with Starter Studio. So she was doing like double duty. Wow. Yeah. Really <laughs> tough to do that. So, you know, feel free to just go ahead and jump in. You guys can take turns right. doing it. <laughs> Um, what was your ex internship experience like, and what were your what was your t key takeaways? Sorry. Uh, my internship experience was really awesome. Um, it was really nice the way I was introduced to everybody. I really felt like I was weaned in in a good way, and it mm -hmm. wasn't like pressure automatically. It was like there was a really good community sen sense of community. Wow, I can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just all the different tasks, and they were always willing to help you and sit down and explain. It wasn't like they were pressured pressuring you to absolutely know everything that you were given. So that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Starter Studio for all of our listeners. It is a co-working space. It is an accelerator for um, any type of a startup that wants to see if their idea has legs underneath it. And they also have free educational programming. So they've been a sponsor, uh, sorry, a patron before. And that's where she was able to participate in helping to the, do some of the marketing. She was she jumped right into the hospitality side, even though that's not what her major was. And she helped out there. She was also helping with the events. She had a lot, a very diverse set of skills that she acquired. I would, I would guess, right? Yeah. But that's what I like. I like variety in everything I do. Otherwise, I don't know. It just kind of falls out for me. So I enjoyed the fact that I had. The uh, intern pursuit, and I had Pivot, and I had um, Starter Studio, and everything with each part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I also want to touch on what you studied in school, because I know you mentioned that you kind of touched on a lot of different <coughs> things, so how did that help you when you applied it to your career or your internship as well? So my degree is interdisciplinary studies. It was a way for me to have a very well-rounded education and bring in multiple aspects together to work. So my focus is for behavior, behavioral and social sciences, human communication, and event management. So all those together, several classes from each part, really brought it together to give me that well-rounded experience. There are so many different types of people out there and different backgrounds and mm -hmm. everyone's comfortable in their own sense. So having the behavioral side was really helpful as well as the communication to like bring it all together. Some people aren't comfortable speaking. Other people are like me and they're pretty outgoing and ready, mm -hmm. <laughs> ready to talk. Yeah. <laughs> and then having the event side as well really just kind of wrapped it up in a So present. interdisciplinary means that it's uh, like make your own degree. It's a customized degree for you? Yes. Very nice, very nice. And you guys had <laughs> never heard of that degree, right? No, mm. that's the first time I've ever heard it. I'd heard of it, but I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> Do you have a better understanding now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And so if you, because for you, this could be of interest to you also, Melanie, because you have, um, you wanted to check out broadcasting. You also want to look at journalism and then just, you know, the PR and the advertising. You could actually move over into that area and have something that's more of an eclectic degree rather than yeah. a specialized there's pros and cons to that, so you have to think through that very carefully. If you know you want to go straight into journalism, I would really recommend keeping it journalism focused, not interdisciplinary, because you'll have to explain that to everybody that you interview with, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so pros and cons. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so where are we in the queue of the, our interview questions? Did you work remotely? If so, what did you like about it, and what was the most challenging that you found? I mostly worked in the office. Um, there were a few times that I brought my work home with me. Um, for Starter Studios, they didn't tell me to, but there was a time where I was making icons for like lunch and learns and founders talks and boot camps, and I really liked the design aspect of it, mm -hmm. so I took it home with me and did it anyways and came up with more designs. Um, 
when it came to pivot, there was a couple of things that Isabella had me do um, with tabling. We had to like call different campuses and yeah. work with that, <laughs> um, as well as other events. We such worked as the on Neon another Swan. event. Remember Neon Swans? Yeah. The so Neon we were Swan. working on getting sponsors for the event. Yeah. We had to do a lot of calls. <laughs> it was a lot of work. But it was really cool. It wasn't just thinking of one thing. It was several aspects to the event that you mm -hmm. could bring into to sponsor it all as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what three to five skills do you think you acquired from your internship that were, and you and I had gone through that. Yeah. We identified those. So what three to five really stand out? You don't have to have five. <laughs> it can be three. What stand out to you the most that you acquired from your internship that are resume worthy? Um, I think the time management was a big thing. Mm. It was really important to know what I'm doing at all times. Um, it was actually funny. Isabella had me create a calendar for myself, and I never did that before. <laughs> they but did that. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I even t blocked out time for like sleeping. It was really cool, though. <laughs> they did that. Yep. In the same boat. <laughs> Definitely yeah. put in perspective how much time I do and do not have. Um, problem solving is another thing. There was just random little things that would come up that we would touch on and fix it and made it all work. And then, um, I don't know, just the creativity aspect of it I as well. I would say creativity because yeah. you spoke to that one. You really liked it a lot. I do. I like the creative side of thing. I like trying to come up with different ways to uh, whatever. Yeah, everything. communicate. <laughs> yeah. Really. It's communicate <laughs> through visual you know, it representations there. So I'm not sure if we had skipped any questions. That's why I kind of went back mm -hmm. just so we can make sure we really reinforce that one. But anyway, so back to you, Mel. Well, yeah, um, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but how has the experience helped you with your confidence, critical thinking, and all-around communication skills? I think the whole experience really did help with all of it. Um, there was just different tasks that I had to do, and reaching out for sponsorships definitely wasn't something I was comfortable with, but I gained the experience. I can actually go forth and do it now. And Do you see how that's going to be helpful if you get a job with Easter Seals? So much help. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now it makes sense. Like, oh, my goodness, I'm so glad I had to do that. <laughs> yeah. So that was definitely a learning experience, and I'm really happy I was able to do that. Um, what else? The oh, <laughs> I think critical thinking, it's fine. You don't okay. have to worry about it. <laughs> but you did say that you enjoyed solving problems, and that was key. We, When you're in that world of, um, like today, mm -hmm. we'll use today, uh, and just so our listeners know, we know that our show started a little late, and it's all about solving the problem. And again, crazy respect, because you, woman, you stayed calm the whole <laughs> time, and I'm going, oh, my God, I feel like I'm out of control, and I... I was feeling it, but you stayed really calm, and so crazy respect for you there. I mean, yeah. you are meant for <laughs> broadcasting. <laughs> if you keep that up, you're going to be just like <laughs> ruling the board there. So um, anyway, problem solving. We have to be able to figure out how to get something to happen. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that she also had to do was she had to help me organize me and that's a problem I know sometimes and that's where I always have you guys help me with that too um, she was able to make sure that I was moving forward she used Asana also I think you did no you didn't you didn't use Asana because she actually didn't have a pivot email she was outside of it and I didn't add her into it she was really dedicated to start her studio for the most part but she would jump in and come over, what can I help you with? And she was always wanting to solve my problem. So <laughs> I really appreciate that a great deal. Yep. What, where are we next in our um, queue? Yeah. What piece of wisdom would you pass on to someone looking for an internship? Mm. I think it is just to keep an open mind. Um, sometimes there are things that will come up and will be offered to you. And honestly, I really didn't see Starter Studio and – what it could do but after doing it and being a part of it and the community it offered mm -hmm. it was all worth it and i'm really happy i ended up doing it instead of just keep pushing along and hope for something else yeah. but just to take the opportunity and go for it how many internships have you done two Three. so starter studio and something before that also no pivot 
Oh, you're counting me. Okay. Yeah, I count right. you. <laughs> you're included. I know, but you've done other things also. Oh, I volunteered for Orlando Masquerade. Mm. So that was a really big thing. It was really exciting. Um, basically, I don't think our listeners will know. I know we don't. What is <laughs> Orlando Masquerade? So mm-hmm. it was a masquerade we put together in order to raise uh, awareness and uh, money to go straight to metastatic breast cancer awareness and research. Um, we did everything. I helped from the idea phase and actually putting it all together to uh, going months and months of just working together and making sure it all pulled together in order to get to the actual day and setting up and then seeing it all happen in real life. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, look, we have some people that have been writing us. So let's see... Uh, Okay, so Diana, hello. Um, <laughs> I always want to make sure I acknowledge the people that are putting in some uh, comments or if people are asking us questions. So we want to make sure that we keep that up there, and then you can write hello back and say, Hi, Diana. Isabella says hi. You can type that into the, into the comment field, or I can do that. I can do it on my phone. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Diana, for listening in. Diana w- had worked with me also as an intern, and she excelled extremely well in event management. I know when I had, I was putting on several signature events for my previous company, she made it run like a clockwork. And she had somebody that was my handler. Um, and they, their job was to make sure I got from point A to point B and that everything was running along smoothly. Mm-hmm. I really missed that. That was <laughs> super appreciative. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just a walk down memory lane. So that's interesting. You've only had these two internships um, that you you feel that you actually got real value out of there. And honestly, uh, hopefully, when you were interviewing, you were able to speak to some of the things that you did, like, hey, I had to call and get sponsors. You know, even in that interview process, that would have been helpful for you, I think. I definitely did. Very good. I touched on it all. <laughs> all right. So I think we have to transition into our music and then do our next spotlight. <laughs> Artistry.io is a product customization tool for e-commerce stores that increase revenue, customer trust, and business efficiency. Artistry Robust Product Customizer allows business owners to sell personalized products in an existing e-commerce store and automate the processing of custom orders. Their website is Artistry.io. Thank you, Artistry.io, for being a patron of the Intern Whisperer Live. All right, so we're back here, and we have a totally different direction. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much (laughs) done talking about internships. Now we get to have wild card conversations. And anything can come up on the table as long as our guest is always comfortable with the questions. So, Jonathan, you want to go ahead and start? Um, What events and activities do you like to volunteer with? Uh, I really like doing things with animals, um, cats and dogs. I did several hours all in middle school and high school of course when I moved I ended up doing other things like metastatic breast cancer awareness um why did you choose that did somebody in your family have breast cancer um no actually but in my class (coughs) uh one of the teachers I love Mr. Brinkman he's great and he offered the opportunity to help out with volunteering and everything and I kind of just went for the first meeting, and I seemed to really like everybody that was there and the whole idea of it and just everything that kind of transformed from it. Very nice. Have you volunteered at the shelter for with animals? I used to do that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. When I was younger. (laughs) Yeah. I did like over 120 hours, and we only needed like 60 hours to graduate, but I didn't care because I loved it. I really wanted to always go and play with all of the animals. That was... That was the the fun part, but there's always if it's a no kill shelter, it's can be a happy place, mm-hmm. but if it's the pound, it's it's mm-hmm. pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we w- we won't even go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're from Maryland. I am. Okay, it's really cold. All I know is Maryland <laughs> is at the top of our country, and it has <laughs> got to be really, really, really cold up there. <laughs> Tell I'm me, w- how cold has it ever been in Maryland that you remember? Oh my gosh, it's been the negatives before. No. Yeah, wow. it gets really cold. We get several feet of snow. Not as much as like when I was younger. Um, global warming and everything <laughs> kind of changed yeah. that. But 
uh, it's kind of funny, my first semester when I moved here, I went back home and for spring break, it decided to have its first snowfall. I thought I skipped through it all. I was good. I didn't have to worry about what the snow. What month spring break? Was that March? Yeah. February? March. And it was snowed. <laughs> it snowed. I was wow. so upset. <laughs> it just, you know what? Maryland missed you. They wanted you to have snow. <laughs> I bring the weather all the time. My family loves me for it. <laughs> okay. Have you guys ever lived in snow? Um, no. Only when I was younger for a little bit, when I lived in, in Kansas and also like- You lived in Kansas? For like a year. <laughs> Where in Kansas? I was That's born in cool. Kansas. I've lived in Kansas. It was in- in Kansas City, I, I'm not. I believe I might have been in the M- Missouri side, though. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I lived Kansas in St. Louis, but I also lived in Kansas. I think it was in o- Overland Park. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah. My aunt lived was. there, Wichita. I was born in a little historic Indian village. Thousand people still has a thousand people. It's called Medicine Lodge. So, small world. Yeah. We have a lot in common. <laughs> Um, how many of you have ever had snow ice cream? Snow no, ice cream. I did make snow ice cream one day, I think, when I was okay. younger. Was so young. snow ice cream. You get a really big bowl. You fill it up with clean snow, obviously. Yeah. Put a little bit of vanilla in it and quite a bit of sugar. Just <laughs> drops of milk. You stir it all up. And if you've ever had a homemade ice cream, like mm-hmm. from the churn, yeah. it tastes exactly like that. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm no, going to tell you, that's like, that was what we did when we lived in Kansas. Well, we lived in a lot of cold places, but we made a lot of snow ice cream. You haven't done that? I feel like I might have done it when I was really young, but I probably didn't do it myself. Yeah. Um, so, But I'll have to do that next time I go home and it snows. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can go with you and we can make snow ice cream. That, that would be great. awesome. Snowmen. I've never been to Maryland. Really? You yeah. have to go. It's pretty nice there. We have the best blue crabs. I feel like ever since, (laughs) because I'm from there, I'm so used to having, like, the best blue crabs ever. And I feel like anywhere else is kind of like, I can't even eat them. I'm sorry. I'm too (laughs) spoiled. Don't they have lobster? That's in Maine. Oh, Maine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Maryland doesn't have lobster? I mean, we do. But that's not what you're known for. Yeah, Yeah, but you guys are famous for your crabs, yeah. Mm. They're so good, guys. I love crabs. That, and then we have burger cookies. And no one knows what burger cookies are because they're only there (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what a burger cookie is. It's just a, a cookie. It's pretty soft. And then on top, it's just like smothered in chocolate. But it's so good the way they make it. Why do they call it a burger cookie? I really don't know. Is that know. the name of the person that created it? That I don't sounds, know. That sounds <laughs> delicious, though. <laughs> it's really good. Next Yum. time I go home, and I'll bring him back. <laughs> okay. Wait. Now, tell me exactly. Does it come in anything other than chocolate? I'm pretty sure it's just the cookie with some chocolate on top. You mean like? Like hot fudge chocolate or kind of. Icing I mean, or it's what? more like hard. It usually has that like the swirl at the top. Mm. <laughs> like, oh. I don't know how to describe kinda it. Kind of like an ice cream cone. Like kind of, yeah. Is it like icing, and it's just yeah. kind of crunchy? It's mm. like harder icing, but like on the inside, it's mm. it's nice. Yummy. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I now. want a burger cookie now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so upstairs, uh, you didn't get to experience this meal, but upstairs. Yeah. Somebody had some type of food, and we were all going, oh, my gosh. And now we're talking about cookies. (laughs) (laughs) It's like food. Yeah, really tough. (laughs) Where are we? Oh, well, actually, I was going to ask you, who are some inspiring mentors or leaders that you look up to? On the table, living, dead, personally known, (laughs) famous. (laughs) Um, I have to say that my parents definitely were inspirational to me. My My parents actually divorced when I was a young age so single mother she really did a lot she was always there um and then I always had my dad on the other side as well he was always pushing me and very happy so what are their names <laughs> first names Robin Siegel and Abe Siegel all right so a little shout out to your parents there yes, thanks that's Adam pretty, that's nice they they hopefully they'll listen to the show did you tell them you were going to be on the show I did well if they liked it and followed it they're listening to you now oh sounds cool my dad's really bad at facebook and internet so (laughs) Mm. (laughs) maybe (laughs) so anyone else that you would mention um you you definitely (coughs) helped me out a lot with everything you showed me the way for sure so i thank you for that yeah we spent a lot of time (laughs) we went over the resume together we went through how to get a job and really looking for that dream employer so I think she's in the home stretch. She's going to get an answer here, and it's going to be yes. 
Fingers crossed. Yes, I agree. <laughs> For sure. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Ever since, like, the first time I actually spoke with her over the phone, we just kind of clicked, and it was we so did. easy. <laughs> <laughs> we started when it was the inter- She applied, and then we started talking, and I think we were on the phone for, like, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. I went, okay, I feel like I know you. You've got to come in here. <laughs> that's when it, it just really, yeah. It all happened. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so what would you say is some of your hobbies or interests? Um, I love being around my friends in general. They are the best, my two best friends, Savannah and Jenna. Um, it's unfortunate I'm not in the same state as them, so we kind of video chat to catch up. Mm. But I also like the beach, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just being surrounded by people and everything we do, I feel like just kind of makes the day. How is the beach different in Maryland than the beaches here? Oh, my gosh. So We have sand. Do you have sand? <laughs> we do have sand, but it is not very nice. Is it more like rocky? Yeah, it's like grainy and pebbles. And not stuff. a That's pretty color. That's how I envision it. Yeah, not a pretty color at all. It's kind of rocky and grainy. Um, the beach I always went to was Ocean City. It was like two and a half hours away. But it's not the nicest beach. I would ra- way rather go to Siesta Key <coughs> and enjoy the blue water and yeah. the like powder sand so you're saying it's not a blue ocean up there no, not at all <laughs> yet there's blue crabs yes <laughs> no blue ocean okay all right <laughs> it's different what else is there to do in maryland what what would we go and maybe three things we should absolutely do when we're there see the capital what are they known for other than blue crab <laughs> The blue crab, the burger cookies, Uts chips, actually, too. What really? chips? So you guys have Lay's. We mm-hmm. have Uts. And I have to argue, Uts is definitely better than Lay's. <laughs> do you know these? Uts? How do you spell that? U-T-Z. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. I always Never. looked for it when I was here, and I didn't realize it was just a northern thing. But there is the National Harbor. It's a really nice area to just kind of walk around and shop and everything. Um also, what the aquarium and all the museums oh, there. I love aquariums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fish. Um, but then if you go a little bit out on the outside, there's like D.C. And there's everything you could possibly want to mm-hmm. do in D.C. How far away is it from, from Maryland from D.C.? I think it's about like two hours, two and a half hours Driving from where distance. I am. I'm in like Owings Mills area. So mm. yeah. it's you got a little uh, trip ahead of you, but yeah. it's worth it <laughs> if you yeah. want to spend the day. <laughs> I've been to D.C. I think I could live there for two years I and just there. go visit everything I could possibly do on the weekend. Yeah, I just recently yeah. went on a trip there. It's amazing, like mm-hmm. all the sites that you can go to, and it's really great. I've Have been, you been dying there? to go. I haven't been there before at all. Oh, my gosh. You you really, when you do have the opportunity, you want to do all of the tourist things that are possible. Yeah. You know, the Lincoln Monument. Mm-hmm. Go to the mall, and it's not the shopping mall that we think of. The mall <laughs> is all of the museums. Smithsonian. Smithsonian, yeah. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You know, all of those things. This is really interesting. Um, somebody had told me this. My brother is in the was in the army and he had told me this that the military um i don't know if you guys know this or not but the tomb of the unknown soldier is always supposed to be manned and all of the branches of the military take turns uh guarding it and no matter what the rain is uh, weather rain snow whatever they stay out there when it was the hurricane that was going through dc they actually had um filed and uh, i can't say a law but an emergency release so that they would not be out there because they could have been really harmed. And the soldiers did not want to leave the tomb. Wow. Yeah. They took that so seriously. And so I, I have such respect for that. And it's just each one of those places that you can go and visit, um, the wall that the Vietnam veterans wall, and you see all of those names. It's just, it's, it's overwhelming when you look at it and you see just the, the masses of graves that are there and the people that have protected our country and our rights. So it's real impressive, but not on the, not on the side that I think is, should be depressing, but on the side of like what immense amount of, um, brave, brave people Mm -hmm. that there are in the world. Definitely. You know, 
So, um, so you told us really good food to eat. <laughs> That's awesome. And now we're all super hungry. <laughs> yeah, I would also go see an Orioles game or a Ravens game. Is that, awesome. I'm going to show my ignorance. Is that <laughs> baseball? Orioles is baseball, okay. Ravens are football. football. All right, all right. Yeah. So obviously I'm not a fan <laughs> that follows those. Are you guys? Yes. Really? Baseball or football? Uh, football. My mm. brothers love baseball, but yeah. What about you? Yeah, I don't follow any sports <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> Do you go to any of the games they have here on the campus, UCF? Or no, I haven't been to one. I should, but <laughs> <laughs> basketball? I've God. been to a basketball game a couple times. Yeah. You have to go to the I at know. least the basketball and the football games. They're yeah. so good. Is and this the only time you get free tickets when you're a student? Yeah. It's around fall yeah. that foot football starts, season starts. Yeah. yeah. Because you know that it's going to cost you a lot, and they're they are like champions mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah. You you have to go to a game. You go do. with your friends. You're going to enjoy yeah. it. A you lot. have to actually go to a tailgate a and then the game. Yeah, and you'll enjoy it. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. I actually know a couple of people that got drafted from UCF. For real. Oh. You know, um, my first two years were University of Florida, mm-hmm. and I would go to the games, and they would be <laughs> passing the people up. You know, and I would go, what happens if they were to go over the top of the, you know, the stadium? That was scary because there's a lot of people, there's people that are drinking an awful lot and Mm -hmm. it could be pretty scary. But I I don't guess that ever happened because they would have stopped it. Does that happen? Do people get past, like bodies or passed up the top of the the wave of people? I haven't seen that. I know they do a banner and you have to go under it and like Hmm. move your hands to make it look like it's waving (laughs) that's pretty good that's pretty good well where are we in our questions i'm not sure i kind of went totally off topic but that's how (laughs) these conversations go oh there's just one question left it's actually kind of turning the table over here to samantha if there's any questions she has for us here at the whisper Um, oh yeah did you think of anything i did what is your favorite part about doing a radio show oh my god this is the first (laughs) day (laughs) Okay, well, <laughs> so what is your favorite part today that so you survived? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Definitely one that we survived. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mel? Um, yeah, I'd have to second that and also just having the opportunity to kind of learn um, – how things work in a radio environment yeah. mm-hmm. since I kind of do, since I mentioned before, I'm major in journalism. So learning how things could work in a different platform other than writing is very exciting, mm-hmm. but we still have to prepare for it. The, yeah. the writing is there, but it's just not to be able to be read through like a, in a magazine or, you yeah. know, online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, Coming over here, we're going to give a special recognition to Valencia College. We want to say thank you to Valencia College East Campus. And thank you to Q. I always say thank you to Q. He always comes in here. And not always, but he came in here today and he helped answer a lot of questions for us as, you know, we're all newbies and I'm still a newbie. I'm having to learn the board also. Um, We want to say thank you for the -the state-of-the-art equipment that we have in here and the great atmosphere and knowledgeable staff that's always here to help us. So we're going to go ahead and do our shout-outs. So we'll we'll go around the room. I'm saving you for last, just so you know. Jonathan, (laughs) who's your shout-out for? Um, Definitely, as last time, my parents, uh, Carlos and Maylene. And my my brother's sister, and you of course. Oh, thank well, you for thank having you. me here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're up, Mel. Um, I'd like to thank. I'm so sorry, I forgot his name is Q. Q. Yes, thank yeah. you, Q, for coming up out here and helping us out. We had a little trouble in the beginning, but he definitely helped set things in order and helped us out a lot. Yeah. What? Any of your friends, your family, anybody you want to acknowledge? Hmm. Um. I guess I would probably have to thank my mom. She, I know she, uh, I forgot to send her the link to it, but she wants to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, she's also very excited to watch the show as well. Yeah, this is her daughter. So yeah, <laughs> she's definitely <laughs> want to. Corey, you have to come over to a microphone if you want to. Now, Corey's been behind the scenes, just so our listeners know. He's been taking pictures, oh, yeah. doing videos. We're going to use this in our social feed. So Corey, who is your shout out to? Um, shout outs to my mother. Uh, her birthday is May 19th, so this Sunday, I think, if I'm correct. So happy birthday, mother. Annie Darius Thomas. Uh, shout out to uh, Valencia. Shout out to Robert McCaffrey. And shout out to Isabella for the offer of internship. And the group, John. 
uh, add, you know, everybody else that's with the whole team and everything. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. So my shout out, this is what I said earlier to a uh, regime, but I've said this to other people. I feel like I've won the lotto with this team. This is like my dream team of interns that are working with me because, Stop. you know, really Thanks. the ones that are sitting across from me because they've had to experience sometimes some of my anxiety. I'll go ahead and throw that one out there, but they're really, really open. They are delivering at a, um, a return on investment that I've been putting into them, and I'm just really, really, really proud of them. Shout out to the game team, to the software team, to Katrina, who's in Alabama, and then I think, oh, and we should say Jack uh, and Roger, so making sure Joy and Amber. I don't know if I forgot anybody else, but all of those people, so shout outs to them. Sam, you're up. All right. Shout out to my parents, Robin and Abe. Shout out to my best friends, uh, Jenna and Savannah. Thank you, Isabella, You're for welcome. having me here. This is a really cool experience. Shout out to you guys for making it all work. <laughs> and yeah, shout out to Q. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Q. Okay, so you can contact the um, Intern Pursuit at info at internpursuit.tech. Phone number is 321-422-2166. And a reminder to our listeners, if you want to win the tickets to j.i.d, mm -hmm. all right, um, to that concert, you have to be able to tell us what you liked about our show and also use that hashtag in there. Um, and our social is Facebook, Twitter, and can listen to us live on mixlr.com forward slash Valencia College. Follow the intern whisper. So you're going to, you're going to close us out here, guys. So you play the closing music and he's going to go ahead and. <laughs>